Uh, we have, I've got a ton of good questions uh, this morning, and I want to get to as many of them as I can. Um, one is from Lee. He, he's, uh, he asks, he's been, uh, what are the best ways to talk to complete strangers? Uh, and get them talking. And, and he says he does really well. Uh, when, you know, he's on his five, but when he's talking to real people, and he's, you know, he wants to know, you know, what's the best way to introduce yourself? Um, and, you know, it's a really interesting thing, okay? And, and let me address you with this directly. Uh, I never introduce myself. I never do. I just never bother. I just start talking. You know, it's so funny because, you know, it's, it's the way that people are programmed to actually interact. And the idea that I have to come up and say, hello, hello, I'm Tom Bazzini, you know, uh, you know, you know, how are you today, or some kind of stuff like that. I wander the world, and, and Kim does this as well. Maybe we'll put up uh, her model of, of, of talking to people, because we did it at the modeling seminar, and we'll pull out some of the highlights. But, uh, you know, we wander through the world. I mean, just going shopping with us is, for some people, a very bizarre experience. Because, you know, we feel free to comment on anything that's going on around us. All right. Um, somebody could be staring, sitting there, staring at you know, if we're like grocery shopping, you know, staring at a wall of soups, and we'll walk by, and it's like uh, you know, going confusing, huh? There's so many choices, and and then just keep walking. It's like a, it's like a drive-by commenting. Okay, <laughs> it, it really is. We just drive by, we comment on whatever's going on, and and we just keep on going because we have no expectation of what's going to happen or how these people are going to act. Um, you know, a lot of guys have, have, have problems when they when they when they talk to girls. They have this expectation, all right, of what you know. They'll they'll play out the expectation for you know married and have children and Christmas and all that kind of stuff. You know, we have no expectation because we don't really care. Uh, you know, <clears throat> it's like one of Kim's one of Kim's belief is you know of course they'll want to talk to me. Why wouldn't they want to talk to me? They're nuts not to want to talk to me. And that's where you've got to get to. That is that is the launching point of every conversation. You know, where do you light the fuse on the conversation? You light the fuse on the belief that, of course, people want to talk to you. Why wouldn't they? You know, everybody should want to talk to you. Kim believes that. Believe me, I know. Because uh, she talks to just about everybody on the planet. You know, but she thinks everybody should want to talk to her. And she has that belief. And she never says, you know, hi, my name is Kim. That's a very cute baby. No, she just says, that's a very cute baby. And that's the end of it. The beginning and the end of the introduction. There's no reason to introduce yourself. Um, even on the street. Even anywhere. I mean, you know, go... You know, I keep saying this over and over again. You've got to get out of the house and get into the mindset that people are going to, you know... They're going to respond to you. In one way or another. I mean, it may be a good response. It may not be a good response. But one way or another, they're going to respond and what you want is not a great conversation. What your goal should be is to see what kind of response they have to what you say. Now listen to that very carefully again. See, Lee, you want to have some type of, you have some agenda in mind and something going on that you expect to happen. And you have an agenda. All right? Well, your agenda is misplaced. Your agenda should be to see what kind of reaction that person's going to have when I say X. All right? Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I've told this story before. I was, you know, I mean, there's a ton of them, but you know, I'll, you know, I, there was a girl in front of me in Starbucks, and then she was talking to this very good-looking guy, and they were talking about uh, something, and I just interrupted them. Okay, uh, I interrupted them, talked to her, he disappeared, and I just wanted to see what she was going to say. You know, it's Hansel and Gretel. Yeah, they were talking about Hansel and Gretel, and she'd never heard of Hansel and Gretel. And the guy was like, you're crazy? And I walked up and I slammed my head down and I go, breadcrumbs! She looked at me and went, what? Hansel and Gretel, breadcrumbs! Where'd you grow up, you crazy woman? <laughs> you know, and she's like about 18 or 19 years old. And she just busted. And it's like, come on! You're killing me! <laughs> you know, and then I just totally switched the conversation, switched the connection, and said how nice she looked in her sort and what a great color it was on her, what a pretty smile she had. And I kept concluding the guy in the conversation. And then Kim came up, and we started talking, and the guy disappeared. And, you know, but who knows what she could have done? She could have turned around and said, none of your business, asshole. I don't care. It doesn't matter because it's not about what happens, you know. You know, you, this over-attachment and this over, 
on the over-attachment to agenda and the over-attachment to your personal expectation of what's going to happen is what gets in the way of most people actually talking to the person in front of them. I mean, come on. <clears throat> you know, what's more important? You getting your agenda or you opening your mouth and saying hello to somebody and discovering something interesting about them. That's it. That's it. Your total agenda. Discover something interesting about them. Or discover that they're boring as hell. Or discover that they hate you. Believe me, I get that one a lot. Okay? <clears throat> I mean, the bottom line is that uh, your expectation gets in the way of your conversation. Expectation blocks conversation. Okay? You've got to get into the mindset. Walk into a situation. You don't know what the expectation is going to be. You have no clue what the conversation is going to lead to. The, all you know is that you have an agenda and you know where you want it to go and that builds a giant wall. <clears throat> and if anything you know, goes in a different direction than your expectation and agenda and then you become hyper responsive to anything, okay? Uh, you become hyper responsive to anything that's not going the way that you think it should go. Um, when you have, when you enter something without too much expectation or too much agenda, because you're going to have some idea of where things are going and what you want. It's not ridiculous. You're not going to become a blank screen. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, <laughs> the expectation agenda end up tripping you up because you've already, remember, you remember what happens in the brain. The brain is a, is a prediction machine, okay? You have to change the direction of that prediction so that it's not so rigid. If your prediction is, you know, I'm going to say hello, she's going to smile at me, or I'm going to say hello, and that person's going to buy off of me, okay? Anything that varies from the, from that prediction, you become very responsive to. You actually begin sorting for, sorting for not getting what you want. You're sorting for, you know, when the direction goes off, and then you hyper-respond to it. And then a lot of people go, oh, it must be about me. I'm a terrible person. Okay? The expectation and agenda... Or, or, you know, end up for, for constipation of conversation. All right. <clears throat> so here's what I want you to do today. All I want you to do is go out and say hello to somebody. Go out and see something going on and just comment on it. One comment. One comment. That's all you have to do. One little comment. And see what they say. See what their response is. All right. Um, life is chaotic. Responses are chaotic. You can't plan them. This is where the hardwiring of our brain gets in the way of our social desires in a modern day world. Okay? You know, we're hardwired for, you know, to, you know, for predictable events and that's why, you know, people like things that are familiar even if they suck because at least it's predictable. All right? So, so you have to get out of the out of the 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 mindset that you need to have an agenda and you need to have something uh you know, you need to have an expectation because if you get overly involved in your expectation, then you are going to have anything that varies from that expectation, you're going to interpret as a problem. Okay? I don't get overly involved in expectation. Matter of fact, most conversations, I'm pleasantly surprised with what direction they go into. And that's when opportunity goes. See, if you wander through the world with expectation and agenda, then you're going to only pick certain types of people to talk to. And when you do that, you also limit your, your uh, opportunities to those kinds of people. Well, I'll talk to just about anybody. Kim will talk to anybody and hunt them down, hold them down and talk to them. And still has the belief that, that they're going to like her. And of course they should they should, they should you know, want to talk to her. And if they don't want to talk to her, now here's the third part of Kim's belief. If they don't want to talk to her or they have a bad response, her first thing that goes in through her mind is, what's wrong with them? Okay, versus... What's wrong with me? What did I do? Oh, what did I do wrong? Oh my God, I offended them. No, it never goes as Kim's mind. It's, you know, she goes, what's wrong with them? It's their problem because she knows she's a perfectly nice person and there's no reason that people shouldn't want to talk to her. So, that's what I'm going to get to today. <clears throat> All right, best ways of introducing yourself, skip it. Don't bother and just move on to, you know, just commenting on ongoing conversations with the belief in mind that people out there are desperate for connection and validation. They want to be seen and they want uh, people to understand them. And they want to be talked to and they want that connection. And if anything gets in the way of that, write back and let me know. Thanks a lot. Bye.